Hello, my fellow soldiers delivering liberty. This is Belucha, and welcome back to Helldivers 2. There's no greater honor than defending our way of life. True. Remember, winning is more important than living. <laughs> that is uh, that is a step uh, far, but okay, sometimes I can agree on that. Uh, guys, I just logged in. Uh, I had to go to dinner and well, basically, I left Malevolence Creek on 99%. So I presume because we have four new dispatches that Malevolence Creek is actually captured, liberated. And we now have a new major order. Let's check it out. New major order, Malevolence Creek liberated. So at long last, Malevolence Creek is free. The heroes who died in its defense can finally rest in peace, knowing justice has been served. And the planet Rhodium deposits will be mined by the citizens who rightfully own them. Colonists are returning to the ruins of their settlements. A pickaxe in hand, hopeful for a prosperous future. For at last, the dawn breaks upon a free creek. And then, uh, yeah, new major order several weeks ago. Our citizens watched in horror as Malevolence Creek. That was the one that we already did. So, uh, Malevolence Creek liberated. New major order. Operation Swift Assembly Phase 3. Old ground. So, yeah, it does seem like Operation Swift Assembly continues on. Although we did fail Phase 2. We now did. We'll, we, fail, we failed Phase 2 to do it on time. But we still we still liberated um, Tibet, right? And because the focus was now on Malevolence Creek, and we liberated that as well, means that we can actually like move on to the third part of the actual uh, phase of the Swift operation, uh, Swift assembly operation. That is actually pretty cool. So yeah, we I already knew that the, the story was gonna continue, but I didn't know that the actual uh, the actual operation for Swift assembly was gonna actually continue. That is. That's pretty cool to see. So even if we failed, guys, the major mission, the major operation still goes on. So the automatons, clearly having calculated their impending shutdown, have put their remaining resources into a large-scale counterattack. Desperate as it is, should this re-invasion succeed, it may jeopardize our ability to destroy the bots in time to prevent their incoming invasion. Hold your ground. So, from what I can tell, this means that we have a couple planets to defend then. And maybe one more capture, because we didn't have anything, everything yet. So, Malevolence Creek is ours. We need to defend. Oh, yeah, here we go. So, Liberation Campaign Tibet is back open. We, we, we basically captured it, but now it's back open. But it's not one for the Major Order. Eubania, Dropnir, so Dropnir, Eubania, and Malevolence Creek. We got Mal Malevolence Creek, we've got Dropnir. Now we just need to defend Eubania. But this major order is 2 days and 11 hours. So I presume it's gonna be 2, two, two days and a half. Like 2012 hours, but I kind of missed an hour or something like that. The Tamans clearly having calculated their impending shutdown have launched a counterattack. Desperate as it is, should this reinvasion succeed, Operation Swift Assembly could be jeopardized. Hold your ground. Okay. So for the next 20 hours, we need to try and liberate Dropnir. Uh, Eubania. And if we can actually do that, then... Well, who knows? Do we, do we finally, like, close them off the map? Because we still got a couple a couple planets, right? We still got Tibet to conquer. Durgeon. Like Maya. We still got a lot of planets. Uh, three more planets to actually, like, liberate completely to throw them off the map. And I'm still, I'm still sure, like, the second we actually throw the automatons off the map, they eventually will come back. Like, like, it, it's, it's, it's easy for Joel to say, like, oh, the automatons are making an offensive back on... Uh, let's say Vega Bay and X-45, right? It's easy to say. But I do believe once the automatons are gone, the new faction is gonna... is gonna appear. And I think this is also why the Swift Assembly the Major Order, no Phase 3, is still in effect. 
I think I think that's that's kind of how Jolus is working out this because they've been spoiling the new the new faction for a while now with like itsy bitsy tiny bits, and I think that's where actually that they want to like draw the story to like the new faction coming along, but they kind of can't because they kind of want us to push the automatons like off the map to make room for the next so we can. Like, kind of focus on two fronts for a while, till the automatons come back and we need to focus on three fronts. I think that's, I think that's where a Joel is, a Joel kind of wants to bring the story. And, well, he kind of, he kind of played with us with, uh, with Drop Near there and, uh, actually closing it off for a while so we couldn't do Swift Operation anymore. And actually had, like, a major order in between to now go back to Operation Swift Assembly. This is this is so cool. Like there is so much, so much that you can like wrap your brain off. Like how how is he thinking? What is he planning for us? Like this is this is really really cool. Anyway, guys, this was a, a quick update. I have uh, an early shift in the morning, so I need to wake up in five hours. And I was like, I'm gonna quickly log in, just check out if we got Malevolence Creek. And yeah, here we go. We actually got Malevolence Creek. And a new major order popped up. 20 hours for a defense. Are we going to be able to do it? I know when I'm getting back home from work, I'm instantly going to jump right in. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. If you want to see more of my uh, operation updates here on uh, my channel or any other game that I might be playing on my channel, just hit that subscribe button. It would always help out a lot. Do hope you enjoyed this update. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.